Thank you. A local community is hoping to bring attention to a years-long problem overseas in ethnic cleansing in eastern Congo. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey is here with that story. Brooke, Indianapolis and other cities in the U.S. and other countries gather today for what's called SOS Day. The global community has said never again when it comes to genocide, but protesters say the problem still exists in the Congo where death and devastation has taken place for years. This group of protesters outside the state house is part of a larger national and global effort to bring attention to the ethnic cleansing of the Banya Mulenge people of Congo. In the last five years, according to the Mahora Peace Association, thousands have died and have been displaced. But it's a story not being widely told. This group hopes to change that. Basically, the mission is to either chase them out of the Congo or kill all of them. There's another push to get world leaders to take a stand against it. Supporters say there's been widespread silence, and in a world that's known to condemn acts of genocide, this one isn't being included in that conversation. It's very regrettable because uh, the, the, commu the international community, the UN, has uh, uh, decided to never again uh, watch uh, a genocide happening in the world, but yet another genocide is, 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 on, is ongoing right now. The goal is not just condemning the actions, but taking steps to stop it. Well, we know we live in the most powerful nation in the world, the U.S. You know, we know the relationship uh, the U.S. has with the Democratic Republic of Congo government right now. What we need is the U.S. government to put pressure on the Democratic Republic of Congo. Advocates say this kind of violence has happened off and on in the Congo for decades. This this is the latest one. Also saying that problems like this, when they happen in Africa, are often overlooked, saying imagine the fear of not knowing what tomorrow will bring. It is so important to say that I stand with you, I see you, and I hear you. And Banya Malengo supporters say they've written a letter to provide to the United Nations to ask for help. You can read more about the conflict inside the story on wishtv.com. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.